All right, let's see. They are throwing a lot of things our way recently. Uh, first of all, we have this time trial competition for Formula E only as a special event currently. That's, as you can see, ending in two hours. Uh, I don't own any of those cars on this account. I'm not planning on owning any of them uh, because this is not an account that I'm planning on using to race anything. If you, you know, um, placeholder account. But as you can see in the center channel here, we got the 6.0.5 update coming and uh, return of the gauntlet. So they're going to be bringing back what the uh, Porsche 911 uh, RSR from 2016, I believe. So we've had that car was presented in limited time series twice actually so this is going to be the third time they are giving us a chance to win it so if you don't own it it's a beautiful car oh, i mean all 911 rsrs are really well balanced um so they're good cars so if you don't own one i highly recommend saving up to uh saving up some gold because most likely you're going to need some gold to uh, win a car through the gauntlet without uh, driving yourself crazy by having to start over after so many uh, failed attempts and whatnot so it's worth it to just pay some in upgrades because eventually if the past is any indicator of the future eventually you're gonna run into a wall where they just throw you an impossible goal as they always do and then you're kind of um, <laughs> either stuck having to pay for an upgrade or start over from uh, I guess the stage one or what are they what are they call it the goal or challenge one I cannot remember how they refer to them but anyway uh, let's see but first thing first this uh, compete uh, the time trial competition with Formula E compete in this time trial for your chance to win gold and racing dollar prizes and uh, what that's not helping okay there we go that's more like it all right, <laughs> Formula E time trial competition. Compete in this Formula E time trial competition. Can I? I don't own any of these cars. But looks like maybe I can. Maybe I can rent one or all three. Um, well, let's jump in and find out, shall we? Oh, yeah, we. you can drive uh, a race or compete in this time trial even if you don't own these cars all right so what's a good one uh, we got a Renault the next EV and then of course the ABT Schaeffler Audi I think most fast guys use this one because it's got the quickest acceleration uh, does it when it's stock 3.79 oh yeah that makes a big difference doesn't it uh, grip are uh, this very similar the braking distance is a little longer on the ABT but uh, I think this uh, might be the winner for this at least so of course uh, time trial so no off track although in Hong Kong circuit I don't know how you go off track definitely not hitting the wall unless you are one of those guys that can ride the wall and uh, no I'm not one of those guys that know how to ride the wall so it's gonna be just a standard staying on tarmac time trial for me here which is evidently going to be a bit slower than if you are to run with the, uh, what do you call it, the wall riding. That's a skill in itself, isn't it? I mean, they really should not allow that to happen, but uh, since it is not 100%, 
uh, some really clever guys are uh, exploiting or taking advantage of that, uh, I don't know, would you call that a bug? Or just a flaw, I don't know. Alright, 55 oh. seconds, how does that compare? More like 56 at this point. Do I rank anywhere? Oh look! Top 50% with zero upgrade. Alright. Um, and then... <laughs> top of the chart here, the leaderboard is 44 and change for first place. So hardly any... Uh, service taken out there which is all right let's find out if that lands me any any rewards okay go away Tom Brady all right rank F what is that uh, 110,925th place woohoo and that actually lands me five gold. Look at that. All right, I'll take five gold. Uh, but why settle for five gold if you can go for 10 gold, right? Let's try for the double gold here. Uh, and we'll try it with, should we try it with a different car? Um, sure, I'll try with the Renault. See how this goes. This one obviously does not have as fast of an acceleration, uh, but uh, higher top speed. There really isn't any space to really open up to top speed in this circuit, so I don't know how relevant that's going to be. Let's uh, look almost like a better handling around that first hair, uh, hairpin chicane. And hey, this is looking promising, look at that. Benefit of really having a bad run the first time. Anything is improvement from that point on. Whoa, that was terrible. Oh. A lot of blind turns, I feel like. All right, we're almost a whole second and then some faster. Look at that. Now, is that good enough to put me into um, E, I guess group E, which would be the 10 gold? I guess we'll see. All right, I just doubled my gold income from this event. Sweet, top 25%. Who knew you don't need upgrades? <laughs> Obviously, if you're going for the big one, you probably do need it, but uh, oh, that's now the climb is gonna be pretty steep. Next one up is gonna be 51 second, so. see where am I with that let's find out 54 so I need to chop off shave off not shaving at that point isn't it uh, it's more like chopping off three seconds somewhere uh, <laughs> 3.239 to be exact and that'll get me another five gold I highly doubt that's actually gonna happen uh, but for that purpose, let's uh, chase after a ghost, uh, Edward V. And for this one, I don't know, uh, let's take the 
next EV, since that's the last one that I haven't raced in this particular account. So we'll take all three out of four uh, test drive. Of course, on my other accounts, I own all three fully upgraded and making my way through before the February update so I can uh, collect all the rewards associated with these uh, Formula E events and hopefully make my way through at least part of NASCAR. That's going to be a long one. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, so I'm racing against the Ghost of Renault that obviously is much better upgraded than mine. It was uh, less than ideal handling, if I may critique um, Edward here. Not that he cares. I mean, following behind, it's like uh, you can criticize all you want, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm behind, so so much for that, right? That hairpin is a tough one. And these corners are all weird. Cannot quite go as fast. But I do think this is, I'm doing pretty fast compared to the last one. It's 53, so I might have shaved off another second or so. Um, but of course, it matters not. Almost 1.5 second, 1.434 to be exact. All right, that uh, at least lands me safely in uh, rank E. So there you go. Good nine seconds behind the top leader, number one, global leader number one, but, uh, ah, sure, let's check out the replay, uh, completely missed that, <laughs> cool aerial view, That turn two is kind of wonky too. And uh, three and four, that's like a little chicane. That one you can almost go flat out, I think, if you just angle it right. Uh, but you do have to angle it just right because otherwise you end up, uh, your tires end up hitting uh, the bump and get disqualified. And then, of course, this final curve, large uh, turn there, you should be able to go flat out. You do want to go flat out because uh, otherwise your, comp uh, your uh, others, other opponents will be going flat out. So anyway, that is good enough for this episode of uh, I guess zero upgrade run, if you want to call it. So that would be zero upgrade run for uh, Formula E time trial competition at Hong Kong circuit. So there we go. 10 gold. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so there you have it. I think the, the, uh, the rewards been kind of the, the way they partitioned the ranks have been kind of going back and forth because uh, it go like rank A for example goes between top 1% and top 0.1% uh, which is obviously significant difference there so between like 100 gold for 0.1% and then um, 50 gold for the next or top 1% 400 gold which is would be nice but uh, we'll see how generous they decide to be but in the meantime so there you go you don't even need a car to race here so go ahead do it you can uh, get a 
a handful of gold here. 10 gold for really nothing. So that's pretty good. All right. See you later.